I can't even take it anymore. I was just watching TV and Joe Biden literally said, President Harris. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. When President Harris and I, but you watch it for yourself. Biden telling the truth because he's losing what's up here. Now, when President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour of a vaccination center in Arizona not long ago. Now, when President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour of a vaccination center in Arizona. Now, when President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour of a vaccination center in Arizona. God bless America. May God protect our troops. Thank you so much. Mr. President, Vladimir Putin wants to open talks. Would you agree to that? Your reaction to the photo. And did you see when it ended? She walked like, I'm going this way. And he's like, oh, wait for me. Do I get a pudding or did I mess up? Joe Biden, the resident of the White House, the most expensive nursing home in America, has just tipped his hand as what's coming next. We all can see it, the writing's on the wall. Miss Bossy, which nobody likes, Camel Toe Harris is going to be installed in office and then we have to go, wow, how lucky are we? Folks, I'm gonna let you watch the whole clip because some people are like, oh, you probably edited it. You can even watch the sign language person like, President Harris? Everybody's confused. If you wanna watch more of my videos, I have 400. Most of them are comedy clips, but lately I've been covering the debacle at the White House. So I hope you enjoy it. My name is Kayvon, I'm going on tour all over the nation. If you want me for a private event, a country club show, a backyard barbecue, any group, crowd size 14 to 4,000, I will do it. Thanks for watching, enjoy this madness. Now when President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour of a vaccination center in Arizona, not long ago. One of the nurses on that, on that tour, injecting people, giving vaccinations, said that each shot was like administering a dose of hope. A dose of hope. That's how she phrased it. Behind these 100 million shots are millions of lives changed when people receive that dose of hope. Grandparents can hug their grandchildren again. Frontline workers who can show up at their jobs without the same fear they used to have. Teachers with the confidence to head back into the classroom. These milestones are significant accomplishments, but we have much more to do, much more to do. And the American Rescue Plan will help us do it. In addition, to the cash payments it provides to you and your families, it also provides the funds to add vaccinators, to supply more community vaccinations, support more community vaccination centers, and increase testing. It'll help us accelerate nationwide efforts to reopen our schools safely. And as I told the nation last week, I've directed all states, tribes, and territories to make all adults eligible to be vaccinated no later than May the 1st. I'm glad to see that several states are already taking that step to make more and more Americans eligible, even before May 1st. Tomorrow, we will hit 100 million doses our administration has administered. But I've always said, that's just the floor. We will not stop until we beat this pandemic. Next week, I will announce our next goal, to put shots in arms. This is a time for optimism, but it's not a time for relaxation. I need all Americans, I need all of you to do your part. Wash your hands, stay socially distanced, keep masking up as recommended by the CDC, and get vaccinated when it's your turn. Now's not the time to let down our guard. In the last week, we've seen increases in the number of cases in several states. Scientists have made clear that things may get worse as new variants of this virus spread. Getting vaccinated is the best thing we can do to fight back against these variants. While millions of people are vaccinated, we need millions more to be vaccinated. And again, I need you to get vaccinated when it comes when it's your term and you're able to do that. I need your help. I need you to help. Not just the country, but your family, your friends, your neighbors. Get them vaccinated as well. If we keep our guard up, stick together, and stick with the science, 
We can look forward to a Fourth of July that feels a bit more normal, with small groups able to gather for cookouts in backyards, and when we be, where we begin to declare our independence on Independence Day from the virus. Look, together, together we're going to come through this stronger, with renewed faith in each other and our government that fulfills its most important function, protecting the American people. Let me be clear again. Wearing this mask in the meantime, making sure you wash your hands, making sure you socially distance, listen to the CDC. We've got to reach the point where we have herd immunity, meaning where we have a vast majority of the American people have been vaccinated before we can stop wearing these. So please, please, don't let what's happening you see happening in Europe when you see on television. Keep the faith. Keep wearing the mask. Keep washing your hands. And keep socially distanced. We're going to beat this. We're way ahead of schedule. But we've got a long way to go. So I just wanted to bring you up to date. And I thank you very much. And may God bless America. May God protect our troops. Thank you so much. Mr. President, Vladimir Putin wants to open talks. Your reaction to the photo of